So, first of all, who are you? Who are the three of you? Are? We're Eastwood Drive. Oh, like our names. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Oh, okay, I'm what yeah. instruments well, you guys Drive play? Too. Stuff like that. Uh, my name is Ryan Moore. Uh, I rhythm guitar, uh, do some vocals, and uh, I guess bass keyboard now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm JD John David. Uh, I play lead guitar, and uh, I, I like to sing sometimes uh, with Ryan as well. I'm Isaac. I just drum. Just drum. Huh? Just, just drum. Perfect. Just really perfect. well though. Perfect. Perfect. You're really good at it. I try. Yeah. yeah. So, Until I take. How long have you guys been playing together? This is should we we should. Ex so, okay. uh, we don't need to go too in depth, but basically we had a we had a high school band called uh, Danker Zone of its time. Of its time. Yeah. Uh, a, a name of its time. You know? <laughs> it was a very just like it was just a cover band. We were just having fun, and uh, we would just play at high school like mini thon and a whole bunch of events where we could just anything we could get really. Yeah. Played at a bar a couple times, and um, Ryan joined the scene after our first. It was, two, um, it was like two years after you guys. Joined, two years so. after Isaac and I started playing. So Isaac and I have been playing together like. I mean, we've known each other since third grade, and we were also in marching band, so there's there's a ton of stuff that, was, that we would play together, not just rock music, but mm -hmm. how many years would that be? I mean, we just want to call it eight to be eight. Eight, eight, eight years. And then, what, Ryan joined sophomore year, so yeah. then... Ryan's four, been playing with four or five, five years. I, I joined as a joke, because I thought it would be funny if I played a song with him, and then I kind of just stayed in the band. Yeah. And Ryan got really good at guitar. Yeah. So. yeah. John taught me how to play guitar. That's good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, what are your biggest influences at the moment right now with this band? Oh, what a question. Oh. Mm. <laughs> like top three. Ryan, what do you think? Start. I have to start. Influence for me. We are very varied, so we're just yeah, gonna yeah. go. Um, All right. I like like the Gaslight Anthem stuff like that. Gaslight Anthem. <laughs> I like like I don't know. It's like it's it's alternative rock is what I what I'm into and like singer-songwriter type stuff, so I like, I like the songwriting aspect, like the, the lyric aspect of stuff, so that kind of influences me. Uh, first band I listened to was Led Zeppelin, my dad is, is really into Led Zeppelin, so it's probably still my favorite band overall, but a lot of my influences personally would be grunge, Chris Cornell, Soundgarden, uh, Stone Temple Pilots, Alice in Chains. That's pretty much it. My lead guitar playing is influenced by a, a ton of guitar players, not just from those genres. Though I kind of I like to listen to anything that has good guitar in. So, yeah. uh, I mean, I'm a big Dave Grohl guy, which is unfortunate nowadays. But, um, <laughs> big Dave Grohl guy. I love. I mean, I listen to a ton of heavier stuff like Deftones. Uh, I've been in Nine Inch Nails a lot recently. Uh, what else? A lot of sunny day real estate recently. It changes. It varies month to month. It really depends on what month it is. But uh, rock, overarching rock, rock theme. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of hip hop too. I can't say how much of that makes it into the band, but I do listen to a lot of hip hop. Now I have a question. If you could start a band, any musician, alive or dead, who would it be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as if you start. That's a oh, hard one, isn't it? Um, yes, you can't be John Paul Jones. That's, That's a good, good one. Because he's just filthy at everything. <laughs> he's an amazing bass player. He's, mm -hmm. he's dirty. He's a good player. Yeah. I'd love to play with Steve Luthiker. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd be I'd be in a band with him. I'd gladly take rhythm guitar in a band if I'm playing with Steve Luthiker. <laughs> oh, Luthiker. Sorry, I said his last name. My spot would be threatened with Dave Grohl, so I'm gonna go Trent Reznor because he can play everything except oh. drums, so I'm safe there. Oh yeah, I'm good. Which is <laughs> now finally, uh, what are you excited most for Basement Dwellers today? I'm excited to showcase some more originals we've been working on. Yeah. I feel like recently we've gotten some headway into like actually making our own music. Mm -hmm. Like we've all, we've had a couple of songs, but I feel like we're we're starting to develop our own sound. So I'm excited to play the music we've written. We've been trying for a while and you know sometimes it's just like when we were younger like high school later high school even the first year of college we were trying to write music and you'd make you get a lot of riffs and a lot of material but just nothing really sticks together and you just can't do it 
I think we just need a lot of time and then all of a sudden something clicked basically over the summer and this semester and now we can just kind of throw stuff together from all three of us and it just sounds good and it's like we've unlocked a fourth person in the band but the fourth person is all of us together like yeah and, and we're and we were always able to play together but this is this is deeper than that it's more of like a we're functioning as a unit much better right now so we're well, we're in a creative renaissance, if you play that way. Yeah. And I'm just excited yeah. to get back out there. It's been yeah, a while. It it's been, been a while since we played the show. Mm -hmm. We finally have some time, so we're just, yeah. we're going all in. Yep. That's good. Jumping in the deep end. So are you guys going to be recording any new music, or are you just working on it for now? Recording's the plan. Recording's the plan. Working on it's the most important part, though. Mm -hmm. uh, my thing is, I always... I think everyone somewhat agrees with it, but like I don't want recording to get in the way of us making good songs. I want to be able to make the good song before we're stepping foot in the studio. Because recording is so involved, and because we go to college here and we and we have done that for classes, we've realized how involved it is, so you really... It would be preferable to have all of your stuff ready going in, yeah. but sometimes stuff just happens in the studio, and that's magical and everything, but you can't rely on that, so we're, yeah. we're really just trying to have a good work ethic right now. Get stuff out. Yeah. Which is a smart thing to do because a lot of great bands they perform their songs for years before they even record it. So. Yeah. Uh, it makes me think we, of this one. Uh, there's a live Pearl Jam uh, yeah. video from '92. Yeah, John, the the Ten release party thing. Yeah, the, yeah. So they had like an album Ten the release party, and it it wasn't really a big event. And like, there's people in the audience, and this guy's recording with a camcorder, and he's like. It, and he says to the guy in front of him, he's like, yo, did you get that? Yeah, did you send that to me? And it's just so magical to watch that. It's like, these people like just heard 10 for the first time, and that would go on to be one of the biggest, biggest rock albums rock ever. Albums ever. <laughs> and they got to see it live before it was released, which is just insane. Mm -hmm.
Mosh. How long have you been playing for? Um, I have been singing my entire life, really. I, I did play in a band like from fourth grade to ninth grade through like an organization, but um, we've only been playing together for like the past two weeks. So, how about you? How long have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing drums for about like 12 years now, but like they said, we've been playing for a couple weeks now. Yeah. So, since you guys have only been playing for a couple of weeks, was it difficult to like join together, or was it just kind of meshed? I feel like everything kind of meshed well pretty, pretty I think, fast. I think it meshed well. I um, have ha kind of had these songs written for some time now, um, so it was pretty easy to get the group together and just like put us in a room, and all of the people that we have are pretty talented, so it wasn't like, it wasn't too hard to get the drive down, for sure. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, going off of that, uh, what are your biggest influences at the moment? Like, if you could name th top three. Um, okay, so Daisy Baby, what, Daisy Baby was inspired by, uh, Leife, even though it's not, like, kind of the same style, just, like, um, idea-wise, I got that idea from her. Um, shit, I'm definitely inspired by Alice Phoebe Lou, for sure. Um, and of course, like any of the mainstream artists right now, you know, mm -hmm. Billie Eilish, I'd love to be Billie Eilish, but, yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 you got influences? Uh, probably a lot different than mine. A little, a yeah. little different, yeah, I'm more on like the, the grungy rock kind of side of things, mm -hmm. I'm a big guy with uh, Tommy Lee, good mm -hmm. drummer, and stuff like that, or like Kurt Cobain, kind of like that style of music, but also with Billie Eilish. I mean, who, who can't be inspired by what they make? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, feeding off the uh, influences, have you heard any new Motley Crue? <laughs> it's not bad. It's, it's not, not bad. It's not bad, but personally, I'm a little pissed with what they did with Vic. I think that was weird. I thought that was a little horrendous. Yeah. That was diabolical. On it part. was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think they would screw over a band member that's been with them since, like, the start, the start yeah, you know? It is what it is, you it, know? <laughs> yeah, it just, it just sucks when things like that happens. Yeah. yeah. So what are you guys most excited about for tonight's show? Um... I do not have an answer yet. I need to... Um, I just love this night every semester because it allows um, everybody in our little community want to perform if they want to and share like what they've been working on and um, two like getting to watch all of my friends do what you know what they love to do is very very fun and exciting so yeah. I'm excited to perform because I haven't done that really so yeah I'd say honestly the same I'm really excited to play tonight it's gonna be a really fun time and also getting to see what everybody's brought to the table I think it's gonna be really exciting really fun interesting time mm -hmm. and hot dogs hot dogs and s'mores hot yes. dogs excited for that yeah. it be something together
Introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Vacant Sky. I am the sign artist for York Volume this semester, the last semester. Um, what else do I say? Well, so you're a sign artist, right? So yes. Are you planning on releasing an album or an EP? Um, or I have a single that I'm planning to release sometime this semester, I hope. It's been, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been the worst this last semester. It's been really fun. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now, how did you get signed? Um, so they had, they had, um, forms for, like, artists they were looking forward to sign, and then Shelly Riley came up to me and being like, hey, do you want to be a sign artist? And I was like, that would be sick as well. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, how long have you been doing this for? Um, I've been involved in music since I was younger. But in like a more serious position, I think since like senior year of high school maybe, but not really like delving into all of it until I got to college. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are your, some of your influences, like your top five artists? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, it's hard. Adele is my top one for sure. Love her. Yes, love her so much. And then I have to say. Leve. I feel like we have some weird voices and I just love her style of singing. Um, oh, this is hard. Um, Lola Young, she's, I don't know, the most popular, but her music is fire. And then, is it five? It doesn't have to be five. Okay. You can only three. do three, that's cool. That, that's my three. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I trust me, I listen to so many artists, and mm -hmm. if I was asked to name my top band, I'd be like, uh, Can I make well, it three? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to probably change tomorrow, yeah. so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, at the moment right now, what are you most excited for for Basement Dwellers? Um, seeing all the other acts, there's some serious talent here tonight, and yeah. I cannot wait to see all of it. It's so exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love how it kind of nurtures a community, because yeah, uh, community is sure. really important in oh, music. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that would be Alright, well that is our right, question. Our question. Yay, so thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. And Can I give you a hug? Yes, hi. Hi.
just tell us about yourself. How long you've been playing? Um, my name's Candace. Um, I've been singing ever since I was 12, and I started producing like two or three years ago. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hang on. So, um, what are your influences? Some of my influences. Um, I grew up listening to a lot of like girl groups. Girl and boy groups, but more girl groups. Um, so I kind of want to get into like girly pop music and like just like, um, yeah, just pop music in general. Mm -hmm. Do you have like a favorite, like top three favorite artists that you have at the moment? Um, at the moment, I love Omar Paulo, um, Chloe and Halle, and um, Five Seconds of Summer. Mm, that's good. Yeah. So, what are you most excited about for tonight? Um, hopefully not to get a voice crack, but it's very, <laughs> very, it's probably going to happen. Yeah. Well, hey, look at it this way. It's not the worst thing that can happen on stage. Honestly, you could have slipped. It's you know? I could have. You know, that would, yeah. I, I would be more embarrassed. <laughs> I would just crawl off yeah, stage if that I, happened. The, I would cry and like politely walk. Yeah, <laughs> like the worst thing that's happened in an in interview is just, uh, not interview, a <laughs> performance is just a vo vocal crack, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It just means you're authentic, you know? <laughs> Yeah, honestly. I mean, you're being authentic you're, self, you're no one's perfect. You're playing live, My dad told me it's um, basically just trying to hit a note that's hard to hit, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, mu I'm a music producer, a multi-instrumentalist, and I sing and rap and a bunch of other stuff. Mm -hmm. So, as a producer, right, what have been some of your like favorite experiences? My favorite, my favorite experiences as a producer, 
mostly like figuring out my sound, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like messing with a bunch of different effects in my in my DAW and like just finding like my own little, little niche kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how did you get in production? I'm just curious. Um, I got into production because my uncle, he's he's a producer and rapper as well, and I just like watching him <laughs> as I was growing up, like it inspired me, and then he sent me the the at Band Lab, and then I was just been working from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how long have you been doing this for? Producing, I would say I've been doing it for about three years, three four years now, mm -hmm. and. I released my first song in very late 2022. Mm -hmm. So what are some of your influences for both, you know, rapping and production? Um, in terms of production, I'd say Tyler the Creator, um, a lot of early XXX, some 53 Thieves, and I, there's a couple others that I can't really think of right yeah. now. And rapping, I'd say Tyler, Orion Sun, and Fensty. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you most excited for for this year's but Facebook Dwellers? Just performing, honestly. I love, and also just seeing the bu like the bunch of people come out here. Like, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. was kind of small last year, but now like I saw the list and there's a good whole lot more. Yeah, yeah. whole lot more. Yeah, and there's like six artists, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really excited. Yeah. On the highway, Drew, about 160. I've been driving all day, and I just hope you miss me. We were walking downtown. The lights, they look so pretty. As I look into your eyes, yes, I can tell you get me. I'm a drifter. I miss her. As if I could forget her. You're the heat that's deep inside my heart, and fire's getting dimmer when you walk into the room. I think my heart begins to flicker, see her chilling on her phone I wish that I could be the uh, That's why I'm never home I can feel the sound of silence when you're drifting through our home Baby girl, you're not alone See, I'm pouring out my soul You're the beating of my heart And without you, there is a hole So, ooh, without you, I'm drifting around Your love, it keeps holding me down Without you, I'm lost, but I'm found I feel like a king with no crown Without you, I'm drifting around Love it keeps holding me down Without you I'm lost but I'm found I feel like a king with no crown This next song is called Circles.
you guys play? I play the bass. Drums, guitar, and vocals. Alright. So, um, how long have you guys been playing together? Uh, <clears throat> not that long, actually. Like, a couple, a couple weeks, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I got offered this show from Riley. Uh, met him not too long ago. And I make a lot of music on my own. I just put out an album. Kind of like shoegaze kind of stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I met Jack through a mutual friend, and we clicked. And, uh, yeah, and then, yeah, Erica stepped in today to play bass, so big shout out to her. I mean, she's really doing us a favor. Taught her the bass lines this morning because our bass player kind of flaked. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but she stepped up to the plate, and, you know, so big ups. That's so, good. kind of a two part question. Um, since you've played as a solo musician and with a band, what is kind of like the difference? Oh, well, uh, being playing with a band is way more fun. So, <laughs> getting to jam with other musicians is great, and, uh, you know. I don't have too much experience like playing live, so this is like a big deal, but Jack's kind of a vet, so, yeah. Nice. So, do you think you guys are going to be, like, not to be rude or anything, but are you guys going to, like, feel confident in your set since your original basis isn't there? Or? Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, like, we're giving it our all, and she's been practicing super hard, and so have we. That's so good. you got to just roll with the punches, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. a show basis. Yeah. 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 Uh, what would you say, like, for, like, be your biggest influences? Um, like, for me, probably, like, My Bloody Valentine, or, uh, like, just kind of that, like, nine, like, well, they're way earlier than the 90s, but, like, that, you know, like, shoegaze kind of sound, and then, uh, like, uh, probably my favorite band, they're called Julie. They're, mm -hmm. uh, I Julie's love Julie. got <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> so, yeah, probably them for sure. Um, yeah. Nice. What about you two? Um, as a drummer, I would say two bands mainly, uh, Toe and Chan. Um, I like a lot of um, Jimi Hendrix and Be the Doobie. Yeah. I love her bass lines. Uh, what are you most excited for for this year's uh, Basement Dwellers? Man, just like, uh, you know, Riley giving us this opportunity to come and play live, and, you know, so big thanks to him, you know, great guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, this next song is called Juno.